Hi there, this is Random Steven, and welcome to my apartment. Now, normally I post videos online where I'm uh, either, you know, unwrapping something like a Kinder Surprise, which I haven't done in a while, or I'm talking random nonsense on my way to work with some stupid uh, theme song I come up with off the top of my brain. But today I'm doing things a little differently because, drumroll please, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I bought me a new phone. Now, I've always wanted to do an unboxing or a review video, but unfortunately, I don't really have the expertise, but this is going to be fun. Uh, a lot of the videos that you may see about unboxings are uh, very fancy. Uh, they're very glossy. They're well made. They put a lot of money into it. God knows what their rigs are running. Well, I hate to say it, but I am not fancy. I wear steel-toed boots. I drive a forklift. I'm blue-collar. The fanciest things I have are... Uh, can, can you check? I don't know if that'll zoom in. I'm recording on my MacBook. Armani Exchange glasses, which I'm pretty sure have nothing to do with Armani. Um, Lens Crafter Special. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't, uh, there's nothing, oh, wait, 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 no, no, I have another pair of glasses with those magnetic clip-on sunglasses. Now, that's fancy. No, they're not. I don't care. Um, I have a collection of Power Rangers. Is that fancy? No. So, anyhow, um, a little bit of a background. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm, I drive a forklift for a living. People who've uh, watched my videos know this. Uh... I'm having a hard time keeping eye contact with video because I'm busy staring at the actual at the actual screen. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, but anyhow, I drive a forklift, and my supervisor has given us uh, the permission, or given us permission rather, to keep our phones with us to listen to music as long as we do two things. Number one, we don't put Bluetooth speakers, so it's like Dolby Atmos 3D sound. Yes, I have. No, oh, shoot, you can't see it. I got tattoos. Uh, and as long as we don't have headphones in, because, you know, when you're driving a forklift and you're carrying X amount of pounds, you want to be safe. Now, unfortunately, most douchebags that I work with actually have one or two headphones in, but at least one guy doesn't uh, really work in our department, but still, that's not safe. Um, what else? Uh, however, the problem with that... Sorry, my girlfriend's trying to message me right now. Um, the serious problem with that is the fact that the battery dies quickly. Now, to put timing into perspective, I leave the house at 6 a.m. I'm at work for 8. I work to 4.30. And I'm home for around between 6 and 6.30. That's basically 12 hours of virtually uninterrupted use of the phone. Uh, browsing in the morning and then uh, music for the rest of the day with random text messages, Facebook messages, messenger, whatever, you know. So for my Samsung here, it's supposed to have a grand total of a day's worth of battery. This thing's dead by noon. So I did a little bit of research and I discovered this. What is this? This is the Ulephone Power 5S. Will you look at this honking thing? This thing is thick. This thing is heavy. This is almost a pound, apparently. I don't know the specific stats on how heavy it is. But according to the box, uh, here, read those, read those stats. That is 18.9 screen. It has a processor. It has RAM, it has ROM, uh, why does my, I don't, I'm, yeah, read this, if you can, I don't know. This is actually a really, really fun phone. Now, I wanted to do a full un unboxing, uh, but I started using it already. I put my SIM card in, I put my, uh, put my memory card in already. So let's look at what is in the box. Now, I bought this from a gentleman off Kijiji who had this on for six weeks and couldn't find a buyer. I guess most people want to buy their LGs, their uh, 
iPhones and everything. I figured it's nice to give a smaller brand a shot. Um, I did a look online to see what's in the box. One thing was missing. Uh, the story of this phone is the gentleman that originally owned it basically bought it has a SIM card from Freedom Mobile. It does not support free. It supports every uh, company in Canada with exception of Freedom Mobile. I don't know if it would support video phone. Uh, is that what they're called? It's a Quebecer company. They're based out of Quebec and Ottawa. I don't know if it would support that. I have to look up the bands, but I know that it supports uh, Rogers, Fido, Chatter in that case, because they're all the same. I'd have to see if it supports Bell, Telus, the rest of them, but I'm with Fido right now, unfortunately. But they do what they want to. So anyhow, in this box, what do we have? We have a user manual with one, two, three, four, five pages in one language, and the rest is... Sorry. The rest is... Every other language in the world. With text met with writing so small, you'd think it was a cell phone contract. Ha. Ah, put that away. Next is a warranty card. Which you'd really... I don't even know how anyone's going to be able to, you know, write anything on there. I think it's probably better to email it. Zoink. Um, now, what else do we have in this thing here? Um, all right. We, it is, uh, it includes a USB cord, decent length. Um, it's USB, USB C. That's pretty sweet. I've never, I don't actually own anything with the USB C, so that'll be a nice change. Of course, now, what am I going to do with my micro USB cords? <laughs> uh, what do I, what do I have that needs micro USB? A couple of Bluetooth headphones, um, yeah, but I got like a USB, uh, a micro USB cord that's, God, how long is that thing? It, yeah, it's long. You'd think it's like maybe 10 feet long. So, yeah. What else do we have in this thing here? Um, I think this is called an OTG cord where you can hook something up to the phone. I'm Because this phone apparently doubles as a power bank as well, which is a pretty sweet deal. I like that. I want to know if I can hook this thing up to my old phone to transfer stuff over because the uh, Android app thing for the Mac is actually pretty terrible, but we'll find out later. Um, we also have a... Oh, see, this thing doesn't have a 35 millimeter jack, so it has a USB-C to... Uh, headphone jack which is pretty sweet but I mean I haven't used a headphone in ages um we also have a oh that's pretty sweet it has a USB a USB C to micro USB uh connector adapter so that's pretty sweet that'll be helpful and it also comes I don't know why I suppose the gentleman ordered the European edition but ah oh, jeez or I don't know if it came with other ones, but it includes this really big honking uh, USB charger thing. But it also comes with a North American adapter. So, ta-da! Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. I plan on going to the Philippines next year. So it'll be nice to, nice to have this. Looking at the phone itself, this... He just vibrated on me. I can hear you. Uh, this is one big honking piece of check, and I love it. It feels really, really solid in the hands, and I like this. Um, let's take a look at this thing. On the front, there are no buttons. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to personalize it. Yes, that is a time. That is a date. Um, on the one side, we have a volume rocker, a power button, the, uh, it's really hard to do with this when I'm staring at the screen. A, uh, fingerprint reader and a camera button. On the back is the USB-C, uh, adapter, the port, rather. Uh, really, really neat grills. 
Um, what else do we have? A uh, speaker and a microphone grill. On the other side is just the pl place where you put your SIM card and your uh, micro SD card. And on the top, nothing. And on the back, there's the dual cameras on the front. Dual cameras. Hi. Ooh, man, that's pretty meta. And saying, waving, waving hi to myself while waving hi to myself. Oh, look at that. Ooh. I'll get bored easily. <laughs> so anyhow, um, so powering this thing on was actually really fun. It's, uh, I got this thing set up really quickly. Now, here's the thing. Uh, let's look. How quickly does this thing turn on, unlock? See? That's what this finger's fingerprint thing. Um, I noticed almost instantly that the launcher that came with this was absolutely horrendous. It's that one launcher that has like the Google search bar that cannot be removed. So I decided that I was going to have some fun and I put a, a, um, a uh, Mac or rather a uh, iOS themed one which works well, except I really do not like the uh, the icons there. It's not not a very good not a very good look. But you know what? I'm still figuring this thing out. Yeah, the icons are really small and they're they're in boxes. It looks pretty ugly. But regardless, it's still decent. Um, I wanted to test how loud these uh, speakers are because the main thing is, oh, is I need speakers that work well right um, so I'm going to is it YouTube on here I don't know I can't actually figure I don't know how to use this thing so YouTube oh there's there's a YouTube app I'm gonna load up the YouTube app on both of these phones right now um, oh, what am I doing what am I doing here okay uh, sorry uh, let's, um, where is this YouTube app and YouTube app? Okay. YouTube music app. No. Okay. Let's search for something that will not get me flagged. Uh, how about, uh, something Mozart. What the hell? Let's do Mozart. Uh, I'll search up something called the best. Uh, I'm just doing looking up Mozart on both of these phones here, and I've already recorded 13 minutes. Right for me. All right, the best of Mozart. Okay, this is. A, I'm playing this as loud as I can on my Samsung. It's public domain, right? I don't think I don't actually think Mozart his family left to uh, sue for whatever. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's as loud as that gets. All right. All right. That's not bad actually. That's a good. That's a good volume. I tried this when I was uh, walking out earlier. Um, it's really kind of hard to gauge when you are uh, walking around downtown. Uh, I got a good 10 kilometers in today. And my Run Keeper app failed on me. <laughs> Anyways. All right. This is the oh, ads. I hate advertising. Two ads. Yay. He's finally asleep. He's finally asleep. Stupid ads. Here we go. That is not bad. I like it. I like it. So I'm, I'm going to test something out here. I'm going to pause this. Let's do... I'm going to start... I'm going to do both of these side by side. How about that? Uh, zero, zero. All right. Both full. Both full volume. Actually, no. Let's do low... Let's zero out the volume on both of these, okay? Uh, we'll play... Start both... Uh, you actually sort of get an idea. 
This looks a bit bigger because I have the case on it. Just throwing that out there right now. This is the Samsung A10. This is a Ulephone Power 5S or 5S Power. I don't really know what they call it. Anyhow, I'm going to play both uh, start now. One, two, three, and... And okay, this is the pow this is the Samsung. And this is the power. I really can't tell the dip. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, I can't. I actually do not know which one is louder versus the other. I'm I'm actually unsure which one is louder I don't know um I think it's kind of a tie so here's the idea now I want to give this thing another shot and you know what uh, I'm having fun doing this this is this is kind of fun this is going to be selfie time I'm going to take a selfie while making this video and I'm going to compare them and yeah okay here we go uh camera on this where's the camera app on this thing here Oh, geez. I'm starting to think I should have actually planned ahead. But planning ahead is not exactly something I'm very good at doing. <laughs> camera, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to put the camera in the same position here. And here. All right, so let's com contrast and compare, okay? These were basically in the same position. I can I have my laptop in my lap, and this is, sorry, let's fix this here, shall we? Um, this is one of the points where I kind of wish I were one of those glossy ones and I had like a video, uh, whatever, uh, video editing software. I'm sure that exists. I know it exists. I don't want to pay for it. I'm not a professional YouTuber, uh, but any... So, what the hell? Hold on. Here we go. And this is the same picture on both cameras. Sort of. There's a bit of a zoom on one or the other, right? It seems. So that is, that's the selfie camera. Oh, no, sorry. That's the outer camera, right? Um, it seems, let's try something a little different here. Let's, uh. The away arrows are... Okay, so we're going to put these side by side, okay? Say cheese, Havarti. And... These are the pictures of them side by side. There's a... And I didn't even zoom in or anything. This is just... There's a definite angle difference in one, one and the other, Okay. All right, so let's try the uh, selfie camera. See, I'm not, before I get into that, I'm not entirely sure I like how, let's see, did I actually, no. No, no, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't fix any apps or anything. All right, uh, so I really don't know if I like the fact that it's so close up. I love a good wide angle, because then you can, edited accordingly um and i've noticed the same thing with the with the selfies which i'm going to do right oh geez right now um problem with big phones and big hands oh geez hashtag first world problems all right let's do selfie time here we go ready smile hold on All right. 
And now we sort of see a big difference here. Now let's, um, now these were side by side, you saw in the video. This is the Eulophone, and this is me. This is not to compare, you know, the pictures or the, the effect, as it were. Uh, I'm just noticing that this is kind of a distance, almost. Whereas this is like why, like really, really close up. So if I really wanted a far distance, I'd have to put it like out here. Whereas this one, I'd have to go, whatever. So, damn, I am a handsome devil, aren't I? I don't know, probably not. So yeah, this is uh, a curious phone. I'm really liking this, to be honest. I'm gonna try it again. How about this? But I'm gonna do it from way up here. How about? Like, what? I'm going to put my hands on the wall on here. You know what? I don't need to. I don't need to. Um, I don't know what to say. I am in love right now with the new phone. And I can only imagine how good this is going to be by the time I'm done with it. Uh, by the time I'm done setting this up properly. By the time I have everything on there that I want to have on there. I'm excited to see what can come of this. I'm excited to see what will happen. You know what? I'm going to do that now, actually. I want to see what will happen if I put the OTG cord and connect the OTG cord to my old phone. I want to see if I can actually copy shit over. Uh, let's find out. I'm going to do that now and then. All right, so OTG to my phone. And I need a USB cord for this, so let's do that. USB into here, and USB in to, oh, that doesn't work. Let's see what happens. Ta-da, oh. Oh, cool. It's actually charging, look at that. If you could see that, I'm a little disappointed. I was actually kind of hoping this would be uh, transfer files over from one to the other. But hey, now you got two phones attached to each other, sharing power, and that's it. All right, uh, I don't know what else to say, to be perfectly honest. This has been kind of fun, actually. This is, uh, I'm, my verdict... My professional, my professional, non-professional verdict on this phone is that I am really enjoying it so far. There, yeah, tattoo. Serendipity, great one of the best rom-coms ever and one of my favorite quotes of all time. That actually goes along with my, well, you can't say that right now, my uh, first Corinthians 16, 14 tattoo and my NASCAR tattoo, you... Kyle Busch, go. Ha! <laughs> number 18. And the number 19 as well. Although, yeah. Uh, and next year, the 21 D. Benedetto's gonna kick some ass. Uh, but anyhow, um, this has been Random Steven. Thanks for uh, viewing the video. Uh, rate and subscribe, man! Or not. I don't care. But once again, thanks for, vi thanks for visiting. Thanks for watching. And have fun. Enjoy the new year.